Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cities with John. I'm thrilled to have you along for the ride today as we are doing some networking. No, not the networking that you do at work when you're trying to improve your career and socialize with people that you'd probably never socialize with otherwise. We're talking networking in city skylines, which is um, everything to do with roads and um, connections of that nature, railways and all that good stuff. And today we're going to be building a cantilever bridge. Cantilever bridge, and I believe that's how you pronounce it. And um, this is going to be a long bridge. It's going to have a really, really big, a really long um, entrance, I guess you could say. And I'm using the um, parallel road tool mod here. It'll put two roads side by side. Makes things like this a whole lot easier. And uh, of course, one of those, uh, they're both going in the same direction, which we'll, we will fix here in just a second. Um, but it makes, uh, it makes networking a lot easier, although it does have a few little minor technicalities. Uh, for some reason on mine, I cannot use it with net if network skins two is enabled uh, or is it yeah I believe it's network skins if that's enabled I cannot um, use this mod so what I have to do is actually disable it uh, use this save the game then re-enable the uh, network skin mod to get that work but that's neither here nor there. Network Skins is the mod that allows you to edit roads um, after they're built. So, like, you can change the lighting. Like, so if you want the lights to be white and not yellow, or if you want the pillars to be a little different, or if you want the uh, road to change in, in other ways, you can do that with the uh, with that mod. And I uh, had to disable it to make. Uh, this portion of the map and that's okay. We're going to be connecting two major um, well two arteries of the map and two interstate spots that basically ran into nothing. They just kind of uh, stopped and um, they needed to be connected and this will connect uh, the oh we already have our first uh, hey it made it barely uh, a little bit too too close for comfort there. Um, anyway, uh, oh, here comes another one. Um, this is going to be connecting the industrial area that uh, was from a previous series over on the other side of the map. It's going to come all the way around and it's going to connect with what's going to be downtown, which connects with the strip and the casino area. So it's all kind of finally connecting. And this is a this is really the biggest um, road connection that has not happened uh, yet for me on this map. So once this is done, um, with the exception of maybe putting in another bridge or two in some areas, or, or maybe even a bridge uh, over this way down the road, uh, if the traffic gets bad enough and needs, if it needs to happen. Um, this will be it as far as uh, major bridges in my city, which is sad because I, I really do like doing, uh, really do like building bridges. It is a challenge at times, um, and the first step is what I've already done here, which is basically getting the bridge put in place with making some roads. We we'll have a challenge here. I see in the distance we've got some a freight liner coming, so we're going to check out and see what that looks like. Um, but anyway, uh, bridges are a lot of fun to do, and you, there's tons of different bridge options on the workshop that you can download, and you basically, sometimes they get put under the electricity um, folder, uh, the little lightning bolt down there uh, is where you'll find them, but if you just use find it, you can find them from there pretty easily. But the main... Yeah, you gotta love uh, live game recording. Thanks, Blizzard. Appreciate that. Uh, 
Warcraft 3 Reforged, you know? I'm, I'm the only person on planet Earth that likes the game, I guess. Uh, anyway, um, oh, random car just drove across there. You have to uh, you have to get your road in place first. So that's the first main thing that you gotta do. I could've left this like this. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we... Uh, that's a lot better clearance. That looks a lot better. Oh, look out! So here's a, a real world cantilever bridge. This is uh, downtown in my town, Louisville, Kentucky. That is the second street bridge. Uh, recently painted yellow for some reason. Not sure why exactly, but this is a good example of what our bridge is going to look like today. Here's the John F. Kennedy Memorial Bridge, which is a uh, six lane bridge. And as of this filming in Google Earth, that new bridge on the other side wasn't done. And then this one is up in Philadelphia, connecting New Jersey and Philly. I cannot remember the name of this one, but um, another good cantilever bridge example. And here we go. So once you get your road in place, you just pick your bridge. And this is one that is going to be under the electric um, category. I'm not sure why electricity, I'm not sure why these are put under electricity. They don't produce any electricity. Uh, I'm not really sure why, but anyway. Um, this is actually a, this is a real bridge, Commodore Barry Bridge named after John Barry. Uh, this is the bridge in Charleston, South Carolina, although I don't think, I think this bridge has been torn down and replaced with a new bridge, if I'm not mistaken. I actually have been over that bridge um, a couple of years ago when I went down to uh, the southern United States. And it's a beautiful, beautiful part of the country. And this is a, uh, um, a really cool bridge and a really cool asset on the game. Uh, it just looks fantastic. Um, and that's exactly the look I was going for. I was kind of debating uh, with this bridge exactly how I wanted it to, to look. And I ended up going with this kind of an old, uh, old style. Really, these cantilever bridges are, I don't, I don't want to say they're going out of style, but suspension bridges are a lot more popular um, nowadays. Um, but nevertheless, um, this interstate road here um, kind of represents like an original connection on this bay that's kind of the way that uh i'm kind of looking at this um downtown of course although downtown has not been built yet will be considered the oldest part of my map it's going to be having the most older buildings and things of that nature where the areas that i started on the map were kind of like the suburbs, the newer areas of the map, in the mall area and all that stuff is considered new. Um, and this area is going to be um, considered the older part of the map and that's why I decided to go with this bridge plus the other interstate has a suspension bridge, looks really awesome. And uh, if you're paying attention to the beginning of this video and in the intro, you saw that bridge, and which is a really awesome looking bridge um, as well. But anyway, this is the bridge that I wanted to go with. And I, I kind of uh, I kind of wanted to I wanted to make a bridge that reminded me of bridges that I'm very accustomed to and having a cantilever bridge in my hometown is Part of the reason I chose that bridge um, but like I said they've been used a long time and, and that's the main reason so the biggest thing that you have to do is you really have to work with your heights you have to really figure out because a lot of times the bridge asset itself is arched so your road might need to be arched um, in some areas to match it because really all you're doing is the bridge itself is just kind of like a placeholder. It's just like a graphic for you. Um, it's not meant to be functional. I mean, sometimes there will be ones on the workshop that I actually that actually do have connections on them. But for the most part, 
you're just putting roads together and then you're just kind of inserting the asset to make um, to make the bridge appear like it's holding those roads when really it's not then you just use uh, move it to grab the pillars take them out and get rid of them and, and that's that's really it in a nutshell um, when I first started working on this connection I, I tried a couple of different things one thing I did try I had two separate instead of the roads being close together like they are here I had them separated uh, uh, widely apart and uh, didn't really like I mean the one thing I did like about that was you see that often especially in bays um, you see the bridges a little bit further apart but I didn't really like the way it looked with this I thought it was kind of random that you had all this open space and if you're building this bridge why would you have the bridge so why would you have the roads so far apart so I decided not to do it that way I decided to go with having them parallel to each other and uh, and here I'm just kind of adjusting getting it all ready and all fixed up uh, and ready to go the yeah um, so having this bridge over here we're really asking for trouble um, we're gonna have a lot of it's gonna be tight over here big time tight and we're gonna have to you know when we bring this road in from the strip the strip is just off to the side here um, and I'm going to be using the uh, the, the strip the same road that the strip is on will be connected over here and it's going to be a major major artery to the rest of the city and I'm expecting at some point that once my population starts grow, uh, going up when the downtown area is uh, growing and, and the population's going up there's going to be some major uh, traffic nightmares um, over here so hopefully as I was talking about with the canals, doing some things ahead of time will make a, a huge difference. Um, and yeah, I mean, a lot of times, some of the things that you you've got to do them, you got to do them ahead of schedule, or or you're asking for trouble. So, and I've kept my traffic at basically 80% the entire time that uh, this map has been going. So take a look, I think it turned out pretty well. Welcome back. So now we are doing a little freeway action. So I have that road coming from the strip and I'm going to put two big entrances here. One, if you're coming from the casino area, you'll have an entrance. And this is actually to the interstate still. This is not, this is not the expressway freeway as I would uh, call it. Um, this is actually connecting to the interstate so you're gonna have one entrance coming from the strip on the right there this other entrance is going to be for traffic going in the other direction and I'm actually going to fix up those intersections using traffic manager where there is no turning on to that ramp if you're coming from the strip you can't take the other um, the other entrance you can only take take the one and here I'm putting in another ramp just to connect and that'll just be the only that'll be the only ramp to connect for the uh, northbound lane I have no idea if that's north or south I'm surprised this game doesn't have a compass or something like that um, kind of pinpoint those things but anyway there's only gonna be one ramp going in this direction where the other way we're gonna have two entrance ramps and hopefully that will help from having a major just big intersection where everybody's just turning all together and going right into uh, the interstate that's the idea anyway 
Um, so good look here at the interstate and that strip coming all the way over riding right along with the railway line. Like I said, this is going to be super congested. So hopefully it all works out. We'll see, I guess. All right, so we've got our entrance ramps to the interstate and we've elevated that ramp enough where I can just kind of continue this road underneath. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and connect, actually, let me go ahead and make an intersection right here. This will be the main intersection going into the first part of downtown. How exciting. Um, yeah, we'll just pull this right over here. And then what we're going to do is this freeway is just going to actually come. This road is just going to turn into the freeway. So we'll have both um, inbound, outbound lanes. And it's going to go all the way across this map. Kind of follow the rail and follow the coast too. Um, but we'll actually just connect both our outbound and inbound. We'll make just like a little junction here. And so I'm not going to use parallel road tools on this. I'm just going to use just the regular road tool to make this happen. And then that way we can kind of keep them separated in um, some parts of, well, especially closer here where it's going to connect. We don't want the traffic to be... Um, getting a little too close for comfort uh, we want it to be uh, a little bit disconnected so um, that's what we're going to go for with this look I'm going to use the we're going to basically use a entrance ramp and then turn that right into a three lane highway that's going to come all the way across here and just serve as kind of an expressway now keep in mind this is going to be full of buildings at some point we're going to come right over the railway and the canal and be right back all right so we've got that nice and connected and i'll be showing that off momentarily but i was looking at this and thinking Something's got to be kind of like a barrier for these two lanes because that is a lot of traffic to be just kind of intersecting right at the same point. So we're going to throw in these little yellow uh, barrels that kind of serve as a barrier. We have one here that's already been hit. Hopefully that will be repaired. But the budget's tight these days. Uh, I can tell you that. The budget is tight in this no-name city of mine. Um, and so on this one caution barrel there watch out for the <laughs> they just hit the caution barrel instead of the barrel that's broke that's already been hit i'll just kind of go through and adjust these i think that looks good yeah all right so now we've got a little bit of protection for those lanes so um this hopefully will be a nice little transition and a nice way to get around this portion of the map when it gets heavily populated, which hopefully is coming soon. I'm not wishing bad traffic upon myself, but hopefully we'll get a population jump before too long. So yeah, there's the finished product. It looks really good. Connected over here next to the other side of the map, uh, other side of this portion of the map, and uh, turned out really good. Um, this freeway is elevated, so it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be fun connecting roads uh, underneath and, and probably above it in some areas as well. But um, I, think this, uh, I think this looks really good and I am really excited about building this downtown on this uh, piece of land here with the canals and all this stuff. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. Hit that like button and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.